don't settle for fakes. My dual taining is the real deal. Hey everyone, welcome to my video guide to Medolce, the new archetype from... Actually, that's not true. This archetype has been in the game for a while now, but it's getting new support. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to Wami for their really cool guide on Medolce that's on Reddit, which you can find on Reddit. I'm linking it in the uh, description of this video. You should probably read it uh, also. Okay, so what's Medolce? Uh, they're a bunch of desserts given flesh. <laughs> <laughs> a sentence to say and they will have a shared gimmick that uh, when they are destroyed instead of going to the graveyard they shuffled back into the deck and uh, that's it so something that's really important regarding the medulce cards is that uh, most of them are really bad it's kind of like a um salmon great situation right or a gladiator beast situation or a infernity situation or a you get the idea like most of the cards were designed uh, with some weird little gimmicks and, and stuff that works or doesn't and most of it doesn't. So all of these cards are bad. I'm not going to talk about any of them. Mufa is really cute though. For the cards that are worth talking about, uh, Magellan is probably our best uh, opener. That's the card that you want to basically open all of your games with. It searches a Medolce monster on normal summon and for this reason you should run three of it. Pitting Sisser is a perfect combo starter. It's a one card rank four. It's the card that you're gonna search with Magellan most of the time, unless you opened it. But unfortunately, because Konami is a cruel mistress, we only have one copy of it, so better make it work. Pitting Sisser is your summon target for Pitting Sisser. Uh, it becomes level four when summoned this way, and you use it to make it rank fours. And it's not good otherwise. Uh, so you should run one copy because it's the one copy you need. Hood Cake and Misangelato, these two work uh, together. Hood Cake can banish a monster from graveyard to special summon Misangelato from deck and then gets you to search a Medolce back row, which is pretty cool. Uh, you should run, I'd say, two of each to avoid Garnet. If you don't know what a Garnet is, it means that basically if you only run one and you open the Misangelato, you can summon it and you're boned. Now for the XCs, Glossoufle is an excellent rank for it as a free detach effect, so you can send monsters to the graveyard for root cakes. That's, you know, pretty cool. Uh, I'd say you need two to three of this lovely lady. Chocolate mode is also pretty cool. Um, she's part of some combos that I'm going to show you later. I think you should run... Actually, I, I, I wrote two to three, but one is probably fine. Tiramisu, amazing boss monster, really. It's just uh, so good. One of the cards that made Madolce really a threat in the TCG back in the day. The day being, oh my god, 11 years ago. Uh, but no, it's still pretty good. Non-targeting, non-destruction removal is still pretty neat. It's more of an offensive card than a defensive card, so you're not going to make this turn 1. But uh, it's still really good, you should uh, run 2-3 two, two, of this lady. Now for the back row, Madolce Chateau is a field spell. Your main search target for Misangelato. It's a pretty decent regression, basically means that all your Madolce monsters go back to the end. Or extra deck, if they're extra deck monsters, I think. I think this is how this works. I'm not sure. Uh, but you only need one of it, it's pretty cool, pretty cool card. Madolce Ticket is really neat on paper. Uh, but it's kind of a... Wami said it was a win more card, and I definitely agree with this. I don't think it would be a bad idea to run it, but only at one copy. Uh, but don't expect it to like win games that you would have lost otherwise. Yeah? Knight is probably the deck's best form of interaction for the moment. The fact that it is a searchable breakthrough skill is... Kind of neat. Kind of neat. Um, you're never going to use the... Uh, Putting says part of the effect, by the way, just so you know. It's probably worth experimenting with. Play it at 1, searching with Mitsangelato. Play it at 3 to hope to hard open it. Who knows? I don't. G-Break is bad, but it's laughably bad. Allow me to explain why it's so bad. So it says when a spell track is activated, negate the activation, and if you do, return it to the hand so they can just activate it again. And because this negates the activation, not the effect, even if it's a card with a hard once per turn, they can just activate it again. Um, and you'll be like, oh, but if you have Pudding Says, you can destroy one card you open in control, but you can destroy the, the spell trap 
because it's already back in hand by the time this part of the effect resolves. That's very funny. Decklist. This is the uh, most basic build I could think of. I think Wami also had a very similar Summon Monk based deck using Book of Moon and Mystical Space Typhoon both as, you know, disruption, but also a discard for the uh, Summon Monk, which I think is pretty cool. And uh, there's not much uh, to say about this build. I'm going to share a couple more links in the description to other builds that Wami uh, thought of or came up with or saw, like the Labyrinth Builder build and a Synchro Centric build, which I think are pretty cool. Oh, this is the uh, part of the video where I'll show you the, the combo. So let's switch to that. Hey, it's me again. Uh, so this is a pretty standard Medolce opening. We opened the Magellan, so I'm going to show you this combo. So we normal Magellan. Magellan search the Petting Cesser, always. Petting Cesser activates from hand, specials itself. Petting Cesser second effect activates in order to special summon Pudding Cess, always from hand or deck. If you drew the Pudding Cess, you still summon this. So you're gonna turn the Pudding Cess into a level four. With these two, I'm going to make Glass Soufflé with the Petting Cess and the Pudding Cess. Glass Soufflé is going to detach the Petting Cesser in order to make... It doesn't really matter which one of these two you choose. The idea is you want to throw this in the graveyard. Uh, and you don't activate the second effect of Glass Soufflé, else it uh, messes up your combo. Then we're going to rank up the Glass Soufflé into Chocolala mode. Very important that you place the Chocolala mode in the extra monster zone, there, else you're gonna run out of zones. So Chocolala mode effect activates. We're gonna target the Petting Cesser in the graveyard to shuffle it back into the deck. And because the monster was shuffled back into the deck, we can detach a material to special summon a monster from deck. So we're gonna detach the Glass play in order to special summon the one wood cake remaining in deck. Hootcakes here. So now Hootcakes effect will allow us to banish the Glass Soufflé in order to special summon Messangelato. Messangelato uh, is going to be able to search the Chateau. Activate the Chateau to give our uh, monsters a little bit of a boost. And then we can make a second Glass Soufflé with Magellan and Messangelato which is going to be able to, at quick effect speed, uh, make one of our monsters untargetable by... Uh, not untargetable, but unaffected by monster effects, sorry. And we are going to be able to set the Knights and the Mystical Space Typhoon. If I had not opened Knights, I would have went for... Um, probably would have been my search target instead of Chateau, but I did open the Knights, which is cool. Another thing really important to note, this has to shuffle back into the deck in order to be able to activate its second effect. So if you already have Chateau, make sure you don't use the Chateau effect uh, to return it to the hand, else you're not going to be able to special the cake from deck. So that was the Magellan hand. I'm going to showcase the hand without Magellan, in which we open Petting Cesser, which is really rare. It's basically the same combo, really. Uh, special summon Petting Cesser, activate the effect. Going to be able to uh, get the Pudding Cess, basically go through the same motions here. Glass Soufflé. Glass Soufflé detached the Petting Cesser. Well, you don't have much of a target here. Uh, not activate this effect. Rank up into Chocolat Le Mode. Chocolat Le Mode detached Petting Cesser. Uh, return Petting Cesser to the deck. And then uh, we're gonna special summon a Cake once again, I feel. Even though we already opened Dude Cake. Actually, since you opened a cake, you have like the flexibility of. Um, hmm. You could special the Messangelato from deck, but then you don't have any targets for good cake left in deck. Um, and Magellan's effect only activates when it is normal or flip summon, not special. So, good cake's probably still the pick here. But it's a is a hard one per turn. It's kind of crappy that we open this instead of disruption. Still go for the uh I can't even use the Messangelato effect because we don't have a beast, so probably still a cake. Keep this a cake for later on. 
detach class, uh, banish class you play in order to special misangelato. Misangelato search knights. Because we don't have any monster in the graveyard, this is still live. Uh, we could stop there, we could also summon the second Misangelato in order to go for Glass to play. But the issue is that um, dashing from the Glass to play is going to turn off our knights, so be careful about that. And last but not least, this is a Summoner's Monk, and so we're going to normal Summoner's Monk. Is it, it's not the Monk of the Summoner, it's just Summoner Monk, there's no S there. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna throw away one of Booker Moons in order to special, you guessed it, Petting Cesar once again and basically go through the same motions, basically the same as opening Magellan, um, except you also need an additional spell to pitch. But it's basically the same uh, combo, basically. Still gonna showcase it to you because I think it's pretty cool. Uh, detach painting sister. Also, I've been messing with these combos. Like I had to re-record this part a couple of times because I just don't pay attention or I just discover interactions like the uh, chateau one that I mentioned earlier. I got burned by that. Don't be stupid like me and undo that. Um, chocolate modes effect. Dashing glass to play. Why do we detach glass to play? Uh, because you only have one. Princess, basically. Hood cake, buy glass you play. Uh, hello, Messengelato. Messengelato, search. Chateau. And I can't make a rank 4 because these require very specifically Medulce monsters. And we are locked out of our rank 4 uh, generics because putting Cess locks you out of the. Um, uh, out of summoning, locks you into Medulces, I should say. So, but it's fine, still have the Chateau, which boosts our little monsters. Still have a book and a Medulce Knights. So, this is not as impressive as the first boards. It's still pretty decent. In conclusion, uh, it's pretty cool combo, pretty neat aesthetic, and uh, you know, really cool fan favorite deck, but I don't think it's, um, it's kind of one note, it's kind of linear. Uh, we're missing a lot of key support cards. Angeli is an absolutely amazing monster that we don't have. Uh, Salon is an absolutely amazing spell that we don't have. Promenade is an absolutely amazing trap that we don't have. And uh, as with every combo base deck out there, it's very susceptible to disruption. Uh, there's many situations in which you're going to be able to Book of Moon or Compulse, a Medulce monster and just end uh, the Medulce player's turn, unfortunately. I think it's like one of these decks you can reach cog with with hard work and without so much difficulty but i don't think it's going to be like tapping too many tournaments anytime soon that's it for for the video thank you for watching and uh rocket's guide coming next i guess and i'll see you next time Bye bye